another video. Today I'm going to be telling you guys my favorite fall and winter date night fragrances. But before we get into it, let me go ahead and introduce myself in case you're new here. My name is Mia and on this channel we talk about all things girly, glam, and luxe. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, please consider hitting the subscribe button make sure you like this video and also turn on post notifications so you never miss a video okay let's okay. get into it. number one benevolence by house of ci this bottle is gorgeous look at that so this is a very sweet fragrance the first thing i get from this is sweet so you have to be a person who really likes sweet fragrances i'm getting a bunch of orange blossom some jasmine and vanilla. The notes in here are bitter almond, star anise, and bergamot. And in the middle notes, we have orange blossom, lavender, and jasmine. In the base notes, we have sugar, Madagascar, vanilla, and musk. This, this is so good. If you love gourmand scents and you have not got your nose on this, I highly recommend you run to houseofsiage.com and get you a sample because this right here, this is fizzy. It's so addictive. When I first got this perfume, I could not stop spraying it. I wore this everywhere. I wore it to bed, like I wore it to work. I just, I could not stop wearing this. This is addicting. Look at the dent y'all see that i have been spraying this like crazy i need to get a backup bottle when wearing this perfume i think of a girl who knows that she looks good she has on a brown nude leather dress She's wearing gold heels she has a mini bag a brandon blackwood mini bag And she is going to the most expensive and finest restaurant. This Benevolence by House of Siage, this is that girl. This is a perfect date night fragrance. If you have watched my videos before, you should already know what perfume I'm going to say next. Number two, this is Angel Share by Killian heavy on the cinnamon this is boozy cinnamon overload let me pull up the notes this is gourmand once again if you are a gourmand lover like me this is a must the top have. notes we have cognac in the middle notes we have cinnamon tonka bean oak in the base notes, we have praline, vanilla, and sandalwood. Now me, if I was going on a date and I wanted to wear this, I would mix this with vanilla 28. This is a smoky brown sugar, just the perfect vanilla scent. This completely, upgrades angel share and i didn't even think angel share could be upgraded anymore but these two together this is a combination people are going to be asking you what are you wearing someone is going to ask for your number like this this is killer this is a head turner this combination is the perfect date night scent that this is top tier. I definitely feel like your personality has to match this fragrance when you wear it. This is not for a girl who is meek, mild, and soft. This, this girl is bossy. She means business. If you are going on a first date with a girl wearing this, she is asking you, what do you bring to the table? This is giving that girl vibe. This is giving corporate baddie this is giving she's your boss this is giving it's giving this is giving okay so 
Next on my list is Classic by Jean-Paul Gaultier, honey. This is a very classic, pretty girl, powdery scent. This is perfect for a first date when you want to give off that kind of soft girl kind of vibe. This, oh, it smells so good. It gives me a vintage kind of vibe. I have a picture of Marilyn Monroe or a Joyce Brown wearing this. Someone very sensual, seductive, sexy, feminine. If I was going to wear this on the first day, I feel like I would wear, y'all know them corset dresses from House of CB? I would be wearing one of those with some tall boots, maybe an oversized blazer. I got some curls in my hair, some soft curls. I don't know. I have on a nude lip with some brown lip liner. This is so good. If you have not got your nose on this, I highly recommend you smell this. Let's look at the notes. So in the top notes, we have rum, rose, mandarin. In the middle notes, we have orchid, narcissist. And then the base notes, we have vanilla, amber, tonka bean, and sandalwood. It's crazy. I can smell all of those notes. This is very floral, so... It's a powdery floral. I do get the rum a little bit, but it's not boozy like Angel Share at all. And I do get the rose. This is definitely a pretty girl fragrance. This is perfect for a date night, going out. And this bottle, this bottle is gorgeous. Okay, let's move on. Next we have Good Girl Supreme by Carolina. Herrera. This bottle is so cute. Like, I just love this. The top notes in here are forest fruits, Egyptian jasmine, tonka bean, tuberose, vet vetiver. Vetiver. This is a very sexy, grown head turner fragrance. If you're not someone who likes attention, you don't like being looked at, this is not for you because this will give you all of that and more. When you wear this, you are catching eyes. People are breaking their neck. Someone is guaranteed to ask you, what are you wearing? Yeah, this is gonna leave a trail. You gonna walk past somebody and they gonna be like, yo, excuse me, miss, can I get your hey, number? Excuse me, miss, I saw you from across the room. It's, it's giving all of that. Okay, let's move on. I know that y'all know that I was not going to come on here and mention some date night, fall and winter fragrances without mentioning the queen of date night. Miss Delina Exclusive. This is a pretty girl fragrance. I have been spraying the mess out of this since I got it. Yeah, this is rose, but this is a deep, sensual kind of rose. This is pretty girl juice. This is rich girl juice. This is he's going to ask you to marry him juice. Okay, let me stop playing. She's feminine. She's giving soft life aesthetic vibes. This is sensual. This smells so good. Like I... I can't even tell y'all how much this smells good. If you have not smelled Delina Exclusive yet, you are missing out. This is my favorite perfume and my top date night pick. I feel like I'm gonna spend forever talking about Delina Exclusive, but when I think of Delina, I think of a girl who is getting dozens of roses, She's getting picked up to go to dinner. He is opening the door for her. She is going to a bar. She doesn't have to worry about paying for her drinks. When you're wearing Delina Exclusive, you can go anywhere and you won't have to worry about anything. If you do not have this in your collection, you need this in your collection because 
every girl should have a bottle of Delina exclusive. Okay, let me go ahead and move Next on. Next we have Passion de la Moa by House of CI. I do not have a full size bottle of this yet. I will be having one very soon because I cannot not have this in my collection. This is oud greatness. This is grown. This is sensual. This is sexy. Imagine myself wearing a little black dress. I'm wearing a red lip. My nails are red. I'm wearing some knee-high leather boots. A Brandon Blackwood mini bag. The leopard print one. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This is just... This is up there with Delina, for real. I need to get a full-size bottle of this, like, today. But honestly, you do not need to spray a lot of this. That is why I am still holding on for dear life <laughs> to this little bitty bottle because one spray is good enough. The projection is everything. People will be turning their heads People will be asking you, what are you wearing? People will be saying, you smell so good. One spray really is enough. Let me go ahead and tell y'all the notes. So in the top notes, we have raspberry, saffron, bergamot. In the middle notes, we have raspberry and lily of the valley. In the base notes, we have oud, vanilla, patchouli, and liatris. This is heavy on the oud. I think what I love most about this is that it's not a very soft oud. The oud to me is prominent. You can smell it immediately. Not like a clean oud. It's kind of, it's a little bit of a dirty kind of oud, which is why I think I like it so much. You definitely get the vanilla, the saffron, and the lily of the valley. This is on the level with Delina and I do not know why I don't have a full size bottle yet. So let me go ahead and get on that. Okay, y'all, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. Please do not forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you have not already. I hope to see y'all again next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.